Greetings and welcome to another video commentary on Catholica. The scene behind me is the view outside my office window looking over the Cumberland Plain to Sydney. It's a bit hazy today but the, the, you, on a clear day you can see the city of Sydney in about the centre of the picture right on the horizon. A few weeks ago Tom McMahon raised the question in his commentary of what we should do when the salt has lost its flavour. It was a question asked within the context of how the Catholic sacraments have lost favour, if not their flavour. In Australia, where according to the government census, around a quarter of the population claim to be Catholic, nearly 90% of them have given up participating in the sacraments, or at least regular Mass on Sunday. The figures are even worse for people going to confession. People are even giving up getting married in a church or going to their graves from a church. It's a good question. Why have the sacraments lost their flavour? Another of our regular contributors from the other side of the Pacific, Brother Tom Draney, who lives in Florida, suggests the sacrament of the Eucharist might be revived if we turned every meal into a Eucharist. I think there's a certain irony in the situation today. As people have been exiting the doors of our churches, there has been this huge rise in secular liturgies. Large sporting events provide various kinds of liturgies at the opening, the closing or at half time. The huge fireworks events around the world have become huge liturgies, events seeking to tap into the hopes and aspirations of the people participating. Once upon a time it was the church which was the principal provider of liturgy in society. Today it is more likely to be lotteries commissions, large corporations and even governments. The Vivid Festival in Sydney is another example of what I label as a secular liturgy. Even if the Catholic Cathedral in Sydney might lend its facade for a small part of this display in colour and light. The Catholic Eucharist has been described as the source and summit of our faith. Self-evidently, a lot of mature Catholics seem not to be convinced of this today. Personally, I think we human beings crave ritual, rubric and liturgy in our lives. I argue that is demonstrated by the rise in secular liturgies as religious participation has declined. The question I want to open up in this commentary is whether we're finished with sacraments, at least as we've known them. Personally, I think one of the major reasons for the decline in people participating in or using the sacraments is that many no longer believe in the magic that was associated with the understanding of the sacraments taught to our parents and in the earlier history of the church. By participating in the sacraments, we were assured God would be pleased. He would look after us. Magic, in the form of grace, would be showered on us from somewhere up above the clouds in a place called heaven. Many are no longer convinced. We need to reimagine Jesus, not as some post-ascension magician in the sky, and represent him as a model for a way of thinking, feeling and acting in intelligent or godlike ways. A way of thinking, feeling and acting as if we had the intelligence, the insight and the wisdom of this one we label as God. Jesus is not the pathway to receiving divine favours. We need to present Jesus 
as the pathway to becoming adult and mature, to becoming whole. Of course, none of us can ever become God, but I argue lurking in every single one of us is some picture of the ideal person we would like to be and the ideal place where we would like to live or put another way of the ideal society, community or family we'd like to belong to. I sense that collectively we still need liturgy and sacrament in our lives. The question is, have the sacraments we're all familiar with outlive their usefulness? Or is it merely our understanding of what they're meant to do for us which has lost its flavour? Please join our conversation and share with us your thoughts. And thank you for listening and thank you for all your support that has been so essential in helping us establish Catholica and build it to this point. In a couple of months, we will be celebrating our 10th anniversary. Take this breath.